In this section, we'll be talking about offboarding your funds. We'll be going over what it looks like when your project receives funds, what you can do with your funds on Giveth, and how to take part in the Give economy, and how to withdraw your funds all the way to your bank account. When you receive a donation from your project, you'll get an email of the amount donated and the token that was donated. So in this case, we receive 15 Give to our project. If I click on the link, I'll be taken to my project. And if I go to the donation tab, I can see all of my donations. So I can see who donated, what network it was on, the amount, and the amount in US dollars. Keep in mind that Giveth is a peer-to-peer -peer donation platform. So all donations go directly from the person that donated to you. All of this is peer-to-peer. -peer. If you have a browser wallet like MetaMask, you'll also see the amount here in your browser wallet. If you don't see it, then there's an easy fix. You can click on this arrow here. It will take you to the block explorer, which is basically just a view of the blockchain. And you can see details of your donation. And if you click on the token, for example, give here, it'll take you to the give page. And if you click on this Fox icon, it'll add give to MetaMask. So now I'll be able to see all of my donations in MetaMask in my online browser wallet. It's important to keep in mind that for any funds that you receive, you get whatever token was donated to you. So if a donor donates to you in Give, you receive Give. If they donate to you in Ethereum, you receive Ethereum. Some tokens are stable, such as DAI and USDC. And some tokens are volatile, such as Give and most other Ethereum tokens. So for example, if a user donates to you $10 in DAI or USDC, that amount will be consistent. However, if a user donates $10 to you in Give or any other Ethereum token, that value could go up or down depending on how the market does. Before you withdraw your funds though, you should know that there are many benefits to keeping your funds on Giveth. For example, now you can stake your Give tokens in the Give farm and earn yields. And with our new Give Power offering, you can lock your tokens for even longer periods of time, earning even more rewards. So at the time of this recording, you could stake your tokens and earn a yield, or you could stake them for longer periods and earn up to five times higher yields if you stake them for up to one year and take advantage of very high APRs. We'll be sharing more resources in the video description if you would like to explore this option. Also, stay tuned for a lot of other exciting updates that we have to our platform that give projects even more benefits for locking and staking their tokens. However, if you do decide that you want to offboard your tokens, that's what I'll be showing you next. If you want to offboard your funds, you need to set up an account with a centralized exchange that connects to your bank account, such as Binance, Gemini, etc. Every country is different, so see what's available in your geography and feel free to ask us on Discord if you need any advice. There's a high chance that we also have people located in your geography who may be able to help you and give you advice. It's important to also note that you should only transfer tokens that are on Ethereum mainnet to your exchange or using a native exchange like Binance. Funds sent on a layer two like Gnosis Chain onto an exchange have a very high chance of being lost. So that's why I'll be showing you what to do step by step to make this whole process easier for you. I'll be showing you two ways to offboard your funds from Gnosis Chain. The first way is I'll show you how to transfer your funds from Gnosis Chain to mainnet and then from mainnet to an exchange. And the second way is I'll show you how to bridge funds from Gnosis Chain to the Binance Smart Chain. And I'll show you how to then transfer that to an exchange. For the first method, I'll be showing you how to transfer tokens from Gnosis Chain to mainnet. This will involve four steps. Step one is I exchange tokens received into stable XDAI. Step two is I bridge my XDAI from Gnosis Chain to Ethereum mainnet, which would turn it into DAI. Step three is I would transfer my DAI from Ethereum mainnet to your exchange of choice. And step four, once I receive that money on the exchange, I then convert it to my local currency and withdraw to my local bank account. The first step in this process is I need to exchange any tokens that I have into XDAI. If you're on Gnosis Chain, we recommend to use HoneySwap. You can get there by going to app.honeyswap.org. 
and go to the swap section and then you can exchange any tokens that you have into XDAI. So I currently have about 400 GIV in my wallet, so I'll exchange that into XDAI. And one XDAI is the same as one DAI, which is the same as one dollar. So I'll click swap, confirm swap. And now, I can see that my balance of X die has went up. So now I have about $12.95 or 12.95 X die, and I completed the first step. Step two is I then need to bridge this amount into mainnet. After I'm done exchanging my tokens into X die, I then need to go to a bridge. So now I'm on the XDAI bridge, which you can get to by going to bridge.gnosischain.com. And of course, we'll be sharing all of these links below. And here I choose how much XDAI I want to transfer from Gnosis Chain onto Ethereum mainnet. So I'm going to do 12, and I'm not going to do all of it. And the reason is because if I do max, I won't have any more for gas later on. So I always want to keep some XDAI in my wallet in case I ever need it for any transactions to use gas on Gnosis Chain. So I'll do 12 and I don't need to keep that much because gas on Gnosis Chain is very cheap. I'll click request. And it'll tell me here that it'll cost me approximately $3.51 on Ethereum if I want to claim this. So it's very important that you make sure that you have some Ethereum in your wallet if you want to go through this process. And then I'll confirm this transaction in MetaMask as well. And then what I have to do after that is I then have to change my network from Gnosis Chain to Ethereum. And then I can come here to where it says history. And I can wait for this to finish here. I'll see that it's pending. This usually takes about five minutes for it to be bridged. Once it's done bridging, I'll see that there's a claim link here. So I just have to click claim. And then I'll have to pay some gas on Ethereum mainnet. So that's why I was telling you that you do need to have some ETH in your wallet if you want to bridge. I'll click confirm. And there you go. Now I can see that I successfully minted DAI and I'll see it under my wallet in mainnet. Next up, I need to transfer this amount onto an exchange in order for me to withdraw it to my bank account. I'm currently in the Middle East, so I use an exchange called BitOasis. However, depending on where you live, you probably have your own exchange and you might be using something like Binance, FTX, Crypto.com or any other exchange. So what I need to do now is I need to deposit my money into the exchange and then I need to transfer it to my local bank account. So the first step is I need to go and look for my DAI wallet address. So I can scroll down or do a search and look for DAI. So this is my DAI address and I click receive. When I click receive, it will give me my address. Of course, your address will be different but it's just something that I need to copy. So I'll come here and I'll copy my address. And then I'll go to my MetaMask and I will send DAI to this address. So I'll just come here and I will paste my address here and I'll say that I want to transfer DAI. So I'll choose DAI from the dropdown. I'll choose the amount that I want to send. And then it'll make me pay for some gas. And then after a few minutes, usually around five to 10 minutes, I will notice that my balance of die will go up here in the centralized exchange. All right, now I can see that the DAI is currently 
in my exchange wallet at the moment. I just have one more step and I can withdraw this to my bank account. So next up, I can go to exchange and I can sell this. So I'll sell the die that I have and choose max and I'll put it in my local currency. I'll sell that. And then the only step I have to do now is withdraw it. So I just click withdraw and I choose the amount I want to withdraw and I click withdraw to my bank account and that's it. Depending on the central exchange that you'll use, of course, you'll see different screens and it will look different for you. Binance, Gemini or any other service. However, these steps would be the same if you're doing it in the same way that I mentioned, which is taking funds from Gnosis chain and then bridging them to mainnet and then transferring those funds to an exchange and withdrawing them to a bank account. Method two involves Gnosis Chain to Binance Smart Chain. This method is a little bit simpler if you have a Binance account and it'll also let you pay a lot less in gas fees. The steps involved for this method are exchange your tokens received into stable XDAI if it's on Gnosis Chain, bridge your XDAI from Gnosis Chain to Binance Smart Chain, turning it into DAI and transferring it into your Binance account. And third, convert your DAI into your local currency and withdraw it to your local bank account. So I'll be using the Connects Network bridge in order to bridge my funds from Gnosis Chain to Binance. I won't be showing the steps where I convert my tokens to XDAI since I already showed that step and how to do it on Honeyswap. So watch that part again if you need help with that. So I'm starting from the point where I already have the XDAI in my Gnosis Chain account. So what I'm doing is I'm using this cross chain bridge that will transfer it directly to the Binance account. So I don't have to transfer it first to MetaMask. I'm going to show you how to transfer it directly into my Binance account. So from the overview section, I click on that. And then from here, I need to search for my DAI wallet address. So I'll go to Fiat and Spot. And from here, I simply click on deposit. And I need to choose from here that I'm depositing DAI. So I'll select DAI here. And from the network, I'll choose Binance Smart Chain, BSC. So I'll choose that. It will give me this address. So this address will allow me to deposit directly into my Binance account. So then I go back to the Connects bridge. I connect my MetaMask and this will connect to my Gnosis Chain balance. So you can see here that I have around 1000 XDAI. And I'll say that I want to transfer to Binance Smart Chain or BNB. I'll make sure that I'm selecting the BNB chain. And I say that I'm transferring DAI. And it will automatically convert my XDAI into DAI. So I just have to choose here what is the amount that I'm transferring. So in this case, I'm transferring 100. It'll tell me what the amount is. It's very important that I click on advanced options here because otherwise it'll just transfer it to my MetaMask wallet. But I don't want to do that. I want to send it directly to my Binance account. So I click advanced settings and I paste my address here. And then I click apply. This will save me a lot on gas because it will minimize the amount of transactions that I have to do. And it will prevent me from going onto mainnet, which of course has higher gas. You'll see here what the fee is. So the fee isn't that high, it's only $0.71. It's a lot cheaper than doing it in the first method that I showed you. So so I'll just come here and I will click confirm here and this process will start.
So I just need to wait for this to go through. This might take a few minutes. It first has to approve it and then send the transaction. And then I'll get a notification that it's ready to claim. So I can click sign to claim funds. I sign here. And it says that the claim was successful. So if I click on this, I can actually look at the blockchain and see this transaction to make sure that it went through and I can see that it successfully did. So now I can disconnect this and I can go back to Binance. This might take a few minutes for it to show up here, but if I go to Fiat and Spot, after waiting a few minutes, I can see that it came through. So I have this die here. It just took some of the amount in fees, but it's not even $1 in fees, so that's pretty good. So then I click on convert and I just say, what do I want to convert to? So basically I want to convert it into the currency of wherever I'm based so I can then transfer it to my bank account. So DAI is a stable coin, so it's pegged to the dollar. In this example, I'm transferring it to a European bank account. I'll click convert and I'll just convert this. And there you go. Now that's how you convert it. Now this amount is in euros, which is the currency that I need to withdraw to my bank account. And of course, this will be different depending on where you live. It's whatever is the currency of your account that is linked to your bank account. So then what I do next is I can go to my fiat and spot again. I'll see that I have this amount here and all I have to do is click withdraw. And then that will withdraw to my bank account. Choose the amount. I'll choose in my withdrawing to a bank account or to my card. I click continue and that's pretty much it. So that's how you do the second method of withdrawing from Gnosis chain all the way to Binance and then to your bank account. I hope you found this session useful. On the bottom of this video, we'll be sharing links to everything that we talked about. If you have any questions, please reach out to us on Discord and we'll be more than happy to help you.